Hey everybody, I'm experimenting with links on, in video and that's what I'm going to do here in this one. This will have been a link from one video to this page that we're looking at right now. I wanted to do it through YouTube and I could do it through another media and I did do it. Uh, but if I did it that way, there would have been no sound or anything or any of what I'm showing you here. This is the page that I wanted to show you from the other site. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to go through this with you anyway, just because I'm experimenting, uh, trying to uh, add video links to a YouTube page. This is called, obviously, Rosedale. <clears throat> the house that Joseph Swift built. Okay, the following photographs were hurriedly placed, it was some time ago, to facilitate viewing by the Ohio Historical Society after someone from there expressed an interest in the home of Joseph Swift, the Rosedale home that most of us will be familiar with by now. I hope to build additional information around these pics and more remains to be seen. For, for now, I present them for the viewing uh, general public as well, which is you. Okay, it starts off. This is, uh, of course, the Ritter Public Library, which was modeled after Swift's mansion. These are the blueprints from that mansion. You know, as I'm going through here and doing this, you know, you can stop your video and take a closer look at some of these things. You don't just have to uh, wait for me to <coughs> uh, explain anything to you. But uh, this is the uh, view I used on the initial page where I'm linking from, from a postcard. Pretty, pretty good. This is a later time, as things weren't going so well. Uh, by that time, uh, Swift had moved, moved on in his life. They left, uh, and I don't. It looks to me like it was abandoned even at this point in time. A lot of people went down there, uh, kids and stuff like that, and took pictures and had picnics and stuff down here when the building was still there. Uh, I have diaries with people talking about them. Now, I talked about some some of these pillars before, but you see this one right here? I think there's one like that down there. I'm not sure if I go back. I'm not sure whether that's a fence post or what it might be. There's There's another one right there. And I think some of those are still there. I visited the ruins, but uh, there's nothing there anymore. I wish there was, but there isn't. This is the back of the building, which is which is interesting to me because these sides, parts of these sides of the building, come around and back in the back here is like a little garden. Uh, it's I think it's a really well thought out home. There's another view of that area. Front view we're all familiar with. Uh, you can look at the workmanship at some, on some of the windows. You know, there's a, that's also a back view, and you can see this area here is back here where I'm talking about have, having a garden or something back in that area. There, front view again. Uh, the workmanship is just you can't see it too well in this photograph. But I'll get the one that you can. There, things are getting worse in that photograph, but there you can see the workmanship on the uh, around the windows, etc. How nice it is, or was rather. I don't know why they would have ruined it. There you can see that really how the scroll work and stuff like that was just great. That picture's online, but there there again, you can see that scroll work in, in these columns, how they're done. Again, how, how very nice. That's 1923. See the columns here, and the pe I, these people were probably just visiting. I I don't know whether they maybe they maybe the home was still open at that time. I don't know. But gee, what a neat looking place. Okay, as I say, I'm I'm testing this out uh, just to see how it works. Uh, if I can make a link from my main video to this one uh, on YouTube. 
So we'll see how that goes. <laughs>